welcome back to the spider's web and as you can see here we have our trolls in front of us our zombie trolls now as you can see two of them are painted and the third one isn't this is how mine look i'll just focus on one of them there we go and that's how he looks and now what we're going to do is show you how I did it alrighty then so we'll put these to one side for the time being and we'll get on with this chap right so what I did first of all was I got some <coughs> B Dawnstone now we pop some of that on our brush on our palette sorry on our brush what do you mean and into the dawnstone we added a touch of red not much just a touch just a decken we should change the colour slightly and from there we added black to darken it a lot more you now bear in mind this is just the um, what you call it the, uh, the base color and I just realized I picked up the wrong brush the one I used for this was my uh, monster brush which is the, the big one there and we oops, a spot of water and this goes all over the flesh area on the back of this model Now, it's going on the back, but I'm also doing this on the hands. Well, basically everywhere except the front of the model. That's going to be a lighter colour, as you can probably tell. <clears throat> enough I don't think which is about right for me oh well so it doesn't have to be exactly the same shade anyway little individual areas might look different Yeah. And the red and now a little bit of black. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Some areas might have a different shade to it than others I'm just going to go over again just to make sure that everything is near enough a similar colour just roughly 
not even, I wouldn't even say dry brush, it's just a, a quick going over, as it were. Again, it doesn't, each one doesn't have to be the same colour, it just so happens that the first two I did, I managed to mix more colour than I probably needed for one. And so I managed to get to oh, both of them done with the same mix. And just all over the legs again, just to be on the safe side, make sure I've got everywhere like so. That looks about right. And we'll just finish off here like that. And now what we did for the other one is using Screaming Skull. And we'll add a spot of this colour into it. Like so. And with that, I've just noticed that I haven't completed everywhere with this colour. This needs to be done. Like so. Okay, so that's that. And now the front. Of the figure. We're just going to. We're not actually painting this carefully at the edge. What we're doing is we're stippling, actually just pressing and making little, um, what you call it, uh, it's like stabbing at the the model towards the edges of the uh, the greyish colour that we did, and that will hopefully give it a, a smoother blend, as it were. see that just like so and that is all I can do for here Time B. Um, <clears throat> now, what I need to do is <clears throat> touch up on the bit of a loincloth type thing, is worry. 
and we're going to be doing that in white scar just a couple of areas that I need to go over just because we're doing the rest in washes we aren't actually painting the loincloth area I think that should be it. Let's notice somewhere else I've missed with the grey. <coughs> what we also have is black that we need and that's going on the, the stone I'm just going to pop some on the palette just about there and there we go go as close as I can but not actually touch the hand and between the fingers nice fine points on this brush yeah, I can just Sneak in there with it. Here's the phrase I'm looking for. Alright, so that bit. And now here. Da, 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 da. I will be starting on the ox very soon for the warlord of Gala here. Not only that, I will be announcing a competition giveaway very soon as well for my thousand subscribers. Um, I know I'm a little bit over, but uh, that will be coming quite soon. There's been a bit of a gap between me doing these, doing the last lot of... I don't know why I'm saying this, because it's... Going to be over and done with by the time I get around to uploading this, I think. So I'm not going to bother anymore. <laughs> now, well. Right, so. Agrax Earthshade. We're going to get some of that. I don't know why I'm doing this yet, but we get some of that onto the strap here around his wrist. these rope things here that's around his wrist <clears throat> and what do you know I found somewhere else that I've missed with the the greyish colour
Yep. Right, so, and that's that bit done. And now, what we'll do using Drakenhof Nightshade, we will go along ahead and do the loincloth. There we go. And then we have the rest of the body to do. Now, as you can see, there's a skull there. I don't want to do the skull as yet. So wait and see what I do with that a little later. But uh, now it's time for the main body. And for that, for the front, for the back, I'm using when I can find it. Here we are, Nolan Oil. We plaster this all over the areas that I've done grey. Now don't worry if you catch any other areas with it. We can always go back a little later and tear it up as usual. Um, and I'm also going to bring it down slightly into the brown area. I'm saying brown because I can't think of what other name to call it. Um, the paler area then. That's a much easier way of thinking of it. There we go. That's adding all the shadow details into the, the darker the flesh tones. And not forgetting the legs as well. Oops. too close to where I'm working and uh, pushing myself off the screen. There we are. Uh -huh. I'm going to make sure I'm not put too much on. I think I have on this arm. Um, just a bit there. Yeah. There we go. And there is our shadow details done. And now we're doing the fronts. And for the fronts, we are using Kelia Green Shed. And 
it's over here what we're trying to do here again is just give that flesh detail a look of being rotten but it is as I say, a zombie um, a zombie troll washes mixed together like that it gives a rather nice blend to the colours the skull I'm going to leave to the last I don't really need to do that yet so I'm not going to but there we are that is all we can do in this video we have to leave this to dry now and uh, when it has done we'll come back and continue and uh, we'll see where I go from here okay so so that is it until next time so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now